earlier recording not started okay hmm. i will come on i will open that after that just a minute so what i want to say student once again listen me carefully very carefully who even late join what i want to say arrangement of chromosome based on its length or size or position of centromere is called what basically karyotype what initial misconception initial things was there what ki in karyotyping we arrange the cream chromosome based on the decreasing order of the size initially what we think like ki we arrange the chromosome in karyotyping in decreasing order of their size means who is longest is first who is second longest is second who is third longest is third who is fourth longest is fourth who is fifth longest is fifth and so on and what people believe ki the x and y x and y they are placed in the last and y is in the last means y is the smallest that is the classical concept old concept classical concept old concept before which one human genome project people teach like this when i was a student i studied like this what decreasing order of chromosome then human genome project came new discovery occur in the science and new discovery going to break some misconception like what ki ji everything here not arranged according to decreasing order the size and according to human genome project as one student was saying yesterday also getting the things according to human genome project what you will find who is the smallest one according to human genome project who is the smallest one 21st is the smallest one and 22nd is the second smallest one according to human genome project who is the smallest one 21st and who is second smallest 22nd second, second smallest are you getting the idea earlier according to karyotyping view was different now you can ask sir then how to give the numbering of the chromosome sir yesterday you taught me sir who is longest is first who is second longest is second who is third longest is third who is fourth longest is fourth and today you are saying sir what 21st is the smallest and 22nd is the which one second smallest then why we are not saying 22nd as which one 21st and 21st as 22nd these are according to earlier we don't have idea now these idea we developed due to which one human genome project earlier we think like what first is the longest it is today to, true also in present context it is also correct the longest is first chromosome and it have maximum number of gene maximum number of gene present in the first chromosome and a smallest now now a smallest is not why earlier people thought why is the smallest according to karyotyping people think what why is the smallest getting the things or not but according to human genome project who is the smallest 20 that we no manage to manage to know recently and who is the second smallest 20 second now many time a contradiction create or not is yes, sir here it is not according to that na no, sir size then of course yes yeah, of course yes that is the reason i am telling when new discovery occur in the science old myth is going to broken you cannot say according to earlier who is the smallest autosome look like 22 but who is there 21st and 22nd is somehow bigger than which one 21st 21st second is somehow bigger than which one 21st even y is somehow bigger than which one 21st so who is considered as the smallest yeah you keep one thing in mind so longest is first and longest is first and first have maximum number of gene and minimum number of gene minimum number of gene is present in which one is present in 
is present in Y chromosome. So number of gene is minimum in Y chromosome. That is true. That is true. But now, according to HGP, Human Genome Project Discovery, this myth is broken ki by is the smallest. Now, who is the smallest? 21st is the smallest. And who is the second smallest? 22nd is the second smallest. And of course, in the definition of karyotyping, then we are just not writing arrangement. We are not writing like what? Decreasing order. Getting the things or not? Okay, see, you got the idea? You got the idea? Clear in the mind? Ki a new discovery change the old views, old concept, and make it entirely new. Old thing become problematic, old thing become proved wrong, and new thing. These are the signs. These are the signs. One new discovery make many things, prove many things wrong, and keep many things true. Earlier concept, who is looking older? Why is the smallest? But new, 21st is the smallest. After which one? Human Genome Project. It was the biggest project of the biological science where we map the chromosome, we find the details of every chromosome. Means we don't have idea about this project in which one? 20th century. So when people studied the biology in 20th century, they managed to know about what? They don't have idea about that time, key 21st is the smallest. But after Human Genome Project, it is clear like that. So I hope you understand it. Now we are coming on. Now we are coming on, which one? What topic we left? Give your attention. So one new discovery, making old concept, proved it wrong. Getting the things or not? So science is a very dynamic subject. Getting the things or not? Every day, some updates, some changes going to occur. And if you really want to excel there, you have to be with the, uh, keep your eye on that particular changes. Getting the idea? Now give your attention. Now greed, let me remove. Theme. Background, okay. Template, yeah this template we want. Uh. Now I'm telling you phenotype. Some terminology left, na? Phenotype. And another terminology is which one? Genotype. So phenotype and genotype. What are these phenotype? What are these genotype? Physical appearance. of a character is called phenotype and genetic makeup is called genotype. Physical appearance is called phenotype. Genetic makeup is called genotype. Just try to understand with the help of example. If I am saying he is tall. So tall, I am using a term. I am using a term dwarf. This is which one? Phenotype. Tall is a phenotype. And dwarf is also a phenotype. Getting the things. But tall have two different possible genotypes. The genotype genetic makeup of tall may be capital T, capital T, and genetic makeup for tall may be capital T, small t. Getting the things. Getting the things. If I am saying dwarf, dwarf have a only one genotype. That is what? A small t, small t. Getting the things. So the phenotype, the phenotype who express itself is 
इन बोथ होमोजाइगस एंड हेटरोजाइगस कंडीशन ज कॉल्ड विच वन डॉमिनेंट नाउ आई एम आस्किंग आउट ऑफ टॉल एंड इज डॉमिनेंट यूज योर ब्रेन एंड आंसर इट आउट ऑफ टॉल एंड इज डॉमिनेंट टॉल इज डॉमिनेंट वाई टॉल इज डॉमिनेंट चिल्ड्रेन वाई टॉल इज डॉमिनेंट वाई टॉल इज डॉमिनेंट प्रूव इट प्रूव इट Dominant is expressing in homozygous condition. Out of this, you tell me this is homozygous or heterozygous. It is homozygous or heterozygous. Capital T, capital T, homozygous. And tall express in which condition also? Capital T, small t. Capital T, small t. So tall express in homozygous also, heterozygous also. So whoever express in homozygous. And heterozygous condition is called which one? Dominant. Clear in the mind? Clear in the mind? What is dominant? Who express in both homozygous and heterozygous condition? Now, not because factors are always present in pair. They are not present alone. Always present in pair. Now, dwarf express only in which condition? So, who express? Who express? only in homozygous condition homozygous condition is called recessive is called recessive so you got here dwarf is dominant or recessive here dwarf is dominant or recessive hurry up Why dwarf is recessive, Ria? Why dwarf is recessive, Mahima? Tell me, hurry up. Why dwarf is recessive? Why dwarf is recessive? Because only express in homozygous condition. Only express express in homozygous condition. I am asking some more question to you. Hurry up. i am writing capital w small w capital w capital w this give which one yellow this one giving which one yellow a small w small w it is giving which one green it is yellow seed yellow seed color and it is green seed color now i am telling you tell me out of yellow seed and green seed who is dominant who is recessive yellow dominant green recessive why why yellow dominant green recessive why yellow dominant green recessive children tell me hurry up yellow express in which condition when capital y capital y is there means homozygous is there yellow also express when who is there capital y is small y is there getting the things or not is it clear in the mind and green one means heterozygous condition it is which one homozygous homozygous it is which one heterozygous heterozygous it is which one homozygous so green only express in homozygous and yellow express in both homozygous and heterozygous so who express in both homozygous and heterozygous is called dominant and who express only in homozygous is called recessive so i hope you understand the phenotype so capital y small y capital y is small y capital y capital y a small y is small y these are genetic makeup these are called genotype these are called genotype and yellow and green yellow and green 
or appearance of a character and it is called which one phenotype so you got the difference between genotype and phenotype children tell me hurry up you got the difference between genotype and phenotype you tell me yes genetic makeup is genotype physical appearance is phenotype clear genetic makeup is genotype physical appearance of character is phenotype is all right clear i am writing some more example i am writing round seed i am writing wrinkle seed wrinkle seed it is phenotype or genotype phenotype very good and i am writing capital r capital r round capital r small r round a small r a small r wrinkled so these capital r capital r capital r small r small r small r are which one genotype these round is dominant and this wrinkled is which one recessive did you got it or not got it hurry up tell me first of all did you got it or not got it why round is dominant because round express in both capital r capital r round express in what capital r smaller now we are this terminology is over right now we are going to start mendelian genetics mendelian genetics george john mendel in short we wrote g j mendel first talk something about mendel getting the things and then we will talk about experiment of mendel getting the things or not after that law of the bendel give your attention first about so once so recessive definition okay look here it is the definition of recessive ha huh. who express only in homozygous condition is called what recessive who express in another definition is there also but that definition i will tell you later that definition you told you told you lot later getting the things i will say about that later on have a look now aaj so we are going to talk about mendel listen something about mendel we are just going to talk something about mendel phenotype and genotype sir once explain phenotype and genotype okay listen i am telling mr x is tall and have dark color skin so here i am telling tall i am talking about a character na so this tall is a physical appearance of a character tall is a which one phenotype and here dark color skin dark color i am telling which color dark color so dark color is a another phenotype dark is a another phenotype are you getting the idea or not understanding what is phenotype physical appearance of a character is called phenotype but you know na tallness is a trait tall is a trait of which character trait of which character tell me hurry up 
विच कैरेक्टर हाइट एग्री और नॉट टॉल इज ए ट्रेट ऑफ विच कैरेक्टर हाइट वेरी गुड एंड नाउ आई एम टेलिंग कैरेक्टर इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई कैरेक्टर इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई फैक्टर्स एंड फैक्टर अकर इन एंड फैक्टर अकर इन आई टोल्ड अर्लियर यू रिकॉल द क्लास फैक्टर अकर इन पेयर आई ऑल्सो सेट दिज लाइन और नॉट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट फैक्टर अकर इन पेयर सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट द टॉलनेस आई विल राइट आई दर कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी or i will write capital t small t means if these both capital t is there in that case it is also it become tall and if one capital t one small t is there in this case it is also become tall and when these small t small t is there it don't become tall it become which one dwarf it become which one dwarf so what we are saying tall is expressing in which condition homozygous if capital t is small t is there still tall is there so tall is also expressing in which condition heterozygous but dwarf is only expressing in which condition homozygous and that is the reason we make a definition ki who express only in homozygous is recessive trait and who express in which one both homozygous and heterozygous condition is called dominant trait so you got the meaning of this dominant trait or recessive trait or not tall is a phenotype dwarf is a which one phenotype it is also a which one phenotype and capital t capital t capital t a small t both are which one both these two are which one genotype a small t a small t is also which one genotype so you got the meaning of genotype phenotype everything or not recessive i told na who express only in homozygous is called recessive who express both in homozygous and heterozygous is called dominant why dwarf have not capital t i will teach it later wait have patience these are very beginning okay i will say it don't worry can we move ahead i will come on ratio wait have patience children now i am telling you about which one mendel so listen it patiently you people blasted with the question so topic not move due to that reason many time i started to answering your question if be not answer you feel like sir not answering my question getting the things so we have have a look patiently listen us and definitely doubt round we will keep in the last if you in beginning start typing start typing start typing what happen we also engage in and many time we feel like your student ask the question so we have to answer it is better but what happen in a normal normal what happen focus is going to derailed na focus is going to derailed on the topic so your understanding it get affected so in last 10 minute we will keep a question round that deal done clear 10 to 15 minute we will talk about a which one question round you bombard your question i will answer and beginning meanwhile you just focus on what i am saying otherwise what's happen it is not possible to saying also and answering also right okay let's start so george jen men john mendel getting so just talking something about mendel let me say a story about mendel actually mendel born in austria and he born in a poor family 
and his initial schooling occur in a schools of the Catholic missionaries. Getting the things or not? After his initial education, Mendel just performed his higher education in statistics. It is a branch of mathematics. So you can say Mendel was by education a mathematician and he have expertise in stats. You know not statistics? So Mendel was a statistician. Getting the things or not? And after completing his higher education, Mendel joined a school, missionary school, and start to work as a very good, start to work as a school teacher. Is it clear? Start to work as a school teacher. Of course, Mendel was a school teacher by profession, but he have some innovative mind and research oriented mind. And Mendel did what? He performed hybridization experiment on which one? Garden P. Which experiment? Hybridization experiment on garden P. And the scientific name of this garden P is Pisum sativa. He performed hybridization experiment on which one? Garden P. Able to understand? See, Mendel was of course a school teacher, but his approach by totally like a scientific scientist. Approach was totally like a scientist. Getting the things or not? Paisam sativam is the scientific name of which one? Garden P. Mendel before experiment went through all the hybridization experiment documents done before him by the different scientists of the world. He just read the articles of the different scientists who performed the hybridization experiment and why he got a failure. He was Australia, Austrian monk basically, getting missionary school means getting the things. So he was a Austrian monk basically, getting the things or not. Yeah, it is true. And a school teacher as well. And you can say, you can say, but he performed a lot of great work in which one? Biological science by performing the hybridization experiment on which one? Pisum sativum. Hybridization, very good question. One student asking, sir, first you tell me what is hybridization? Well done. Have a look. See the things. So suppose that that is a one, one plant is a tall plant and another plant is a dwarf pea plant. Getting the things? One pea plant is tall pea plant, another pea plant is dwarf plant. When we perform a reproduction between tall plant with dwarf plant, it is called which experiment? Hybridization experiment. You can say breeding, yeah. It is called also breeding. Hybridization experiment means you can say about breeding. Of course, it is, you can say cross-pollination. Is it it or not? Understanding the idea? So you got the meaning of hybridization experiment? Cross-breeding, right? He cross a tall plant with a dwarf tree plant. That is called hybridization experiment. Do you got the basic idea? Hybridization experiment means crossing, clear? All right. Is done. Can we move ahead? Yeah. So he performed hybridization experiment on which pea plant? Garden pea plant. That is Pisum sativa. Right? And I told he work like a professional scientist. It's not like by chance he have taken pea plant. Kiyokeji, in our college campus, pea plant is there. I start experiment on the pea plant. It is not a chance process. By thinking a lot, Mendel have chosen which plant? Pea plant. There are many reasons. So question examiner asked, 
कि वाई मेंडल हैव चूजन द पी प्लांट एज एक्सपेरिमेंट मेटीरियल सो पीपल कैन आस्क ए क्वेश्चन वाई मेंडल चूज पी प्लांट एज एक्सपेरिमेंट मेटीरियल experiment material got the idea what is the reason behind choosing a pea plant as experiment material there are many reason behind answer of the question is pea plant is a bisexual p is a by p is a bisexual plant and it have a bisexual flower as well getting the idea or not second thing it is easily available third thing easy to grow fourth thing many have many character have many character in pea plant there are so many different characters are there and the most important in p bird pollination occur bird pollination occur getting the idea in p bird pollination occur getting the things or not means naturally that is naturally in p plant only cell pollination occur so that was the one of the master stroke of the mendel ki whenever getting the things or not and you can say whenever he want whenever he want cross pollination he interfere in that and pollinate whenever he don't want cross pollination contamination free self pollination occur so these are another things is which one we have short life cycle of course also correct short life cycle so these are the some of the reason behind mendel have chosen pea plant as a experiment material and how many character mendel have chosen for his hybridization experiment i hope you studied yeah so mendel chosen seven character seven different character mendel choose seven different character for his hybridization experiment slowly slowly we are moving toward experiment getting the things do you know the name of the seven character do you know the different uh, getting the things or not seven character yeah so i am just writing here the name of seven character this side i am writing character this side i am writing which one trait one and this side i am writing which one trait 2 seven contrasting form of the character he have taken so i am writing trait 1 and trait trait 2 so i am writing the seven character name first character i am writing length of plant position of flower second character third character i am writing shape of pod fourth character i am writing fourth character i am writing flower color fifth character i am writing seed color six character i am writing pod color 
and seven character I am writing seed shape. So these are the seven character. Seven character is there, na? So now, children, you tell me, you tell me one thing. What are the two different form of the length? Tall. Another is trait two is dwarf. Position of flower, axial in position. Second, terminal in position. Third, shape of pod, inflated. Or it is also called full. And second one is what? Constricted. Fourth, flower color, violet. And this side, white. Next, seed color, yellow. And which one? Green. Pod color, green and yellow. And seed shape, round. And here it is wrinkled. Round and wrinkled. So I just want to say you one thing. Whoever in trait one, you keep in your mind, these all are dominant forms of the character. These are dominant trait. And whoever in the side of trait two, all are which one? Recessive trait. Will you keep in the mind? So these are the seven characters chosen by Mendel for his hybridization experiment. Clear? Clear? Is it all right? Now we are going to deal the hybridization experiment of getting the things or not. In Sunday exam, this will come, sir. Yes, it will come. Now we are going to discuss about which cross. So how many seven character and how many, how many different variety? How many different variety? 14 true breeding variety. Each character, how many variety? Two variety, na? So one type tall, another side dwarf. Two. Likewise, seven character. So how many different variety? 14 different variety came, na? Each character, two variety came, na? Length, height, tall dwarf. Pod color, green, yellow. So for each, getting the things. Clear? Understood the idea? Now we are going to deal the hybridization experiment performed by which one? Mendel. Getting the things. So how he performed the hybridization experiment? Pod. What is mean by pod, sir? Anyone know pod? You have seen the P. You have seen the P. So in P, the green color cover, the green color cover in the P is what basically? Pod. You got the idea? Outer green layer, you remove that and you P came from that. It is called which one? Pod. One student writing Thoka in Telugu, sir. Thoka. Hmm. Is it clear? Now, wrinkled means uh, getting the thing. And full means Wrinkled look like this, full look like this. You got the idea? Axial position, it is in angle. If flower is present like this, it is axial. If flower is present like this, it is terminal. Clear? Constricted, this is constricted, this is full. Inflated is also called full, inflated and constricted. 
when wrinkling occurs somehow wrinkling occur wrinkled pod is there it is called constricted clear now we are going to deal about mono hybrid cross axial in angle it is present like this if flower is like this axial if flower is like this terminal then position and axial in position and terminal in position on top terminal end suppose that this is a branch and here flower came it is axial here it is a branch and flower come like this it is terminal you got the idea clear constricted you find a wrinkled somehow who is wrinkled is somehow constricted not terminal means lateral lateral is axial lateral is axial terminal on the top na lateral you can say axial okay can we move ahead yes now we are going to deal mono hybrid cross of the mendel mono hybrid cross so what mendel did in the mono hybrid cross one side he mono means single hybrid you know hybridization crossing mono means single so single character so cross by taking single character in pea plant is called mono hybrid cross suppose that mendel one side have taken tall plant and another side he have taken dwarf plant so how many character he have taken here one character two character one character what is the character here what is the character here height very good and how many forms of the character he have taken two form one form is what one trait is tall another trait is dwarf you keep always in mind this is parent and you keep always mendel have taken parent always as pure line always as pure line pure line means homozygous so the parent taken by mendel in his cross is always pure line so it is tall pea plant it is dwarf pea plant it is tall pea plant it is which one dwarf pea plant you got the idea now just try to understand i am drawing a diagram suppose that this is a pea plant tall i am just drawing a representative diagram it is not the real flower of pea for your understanding simply i am drawing a diagram so this is which one female reproductive organ and it is which one male reproductive organ getting the things or not and here it is the same like here it is which one dwarf plant assume so here it is a dwarf plant so here it is female reproductive organ and here it is a which reproductive organ male reproductive organ so it is a tall plant it is a dwarf plant assume the situation assume the situation getting the things or not now he have taken parent as homozygous that is pure line so what should be right for tall you tell me hurry up what the genotype i write for the tall you tell me what should i write for tall capital t capital t then it become what pure line or homozygous and what should be right for dwarf a small t small t why i am writing two time t why we are not writing single time t why we are writing two time t because genes occur in pair genes occur in pairs mendel told na factors occur in pair they occur in pair is it clear it's all right right ji 
So it is occur in pair. It is gene also, it is allele also. I already told, every allele is a gene. Every allele is a gene. Getting the things? Now he make a cross. Now you tell me to whom you want to make male, and it is a bisexual flower. P have a which kind of flower? P have bisexual flower. Means both male and female present in both, bisexual flower. Now you tell me, suppose that I want to make this tall male and I want to make this dwarf, which one? Female. So what I will do? What I will do? If I want to make this tall as male, I will not disturb this plant. I will not disturb this plant. I will let them grow. P is not unisexual. P is bisexual. I'm taking P here, na? So P is a bisexual one. So let them grow. Let them grow. Let them grow. Don't disturb it. But I want to make them which one? Female. Dwarf, I want to consider them female. Because both are bisexual. Both plants are bisexual. Both tall and dwarf are bisexual. So what I will do? I will perform here a removal of anther. I will remove the anther of which one? We will remove the anther of anther of which plant? Female plant. Anybody can use their brain, why? We are not removing the anther of male plant, we are removing the anther of female plant. Why we are removing the anther of female plant? Because if anther remain, here pollen grain form and which occur? Cell pollination occur. Cell pollination occur. So we are removing the male sex organ to avoid self pollination. And this removal of anther of female plant is called emasculation. It is a technique of removal of anther. It is called which one? Emasculation. Purpose of emasculation is what? Purpose of emasculation is what? To avoid purpose. To avoid self-pollination. Because P is a bisexual one and it is performing self-pollination. In natural condition, P always performs self-pollination. Getting the things or not? Okay? Clear in the mind? Now one student asking, even in male flowers, sir, that is tall, should remove ovary. Why should remove ovary? What is the need of it? Here on the stigma, any pollen grain landed, na? And after removal of the anther, we remove the anther here. We remove the anther. Now anther is not there. Now I am covering the stigma. Now we are covering the stigma with the bag. And it is called bagging. It is called bagging. Purpose of bagging is to avoid unwanted cross-pollination. Unwanted cross-pollination. And both emasculation and bagging we are doing with which flower? Male flower or female flower? Female flower. No need to do anything with male flower. Getting the thing? No need to do anything with the male flower. These emasculation and bagging be performed with which flower? Female flower. One student writing, what is your name? My name is Arun Pandey, dear children. Bagging be for unwanted cross-pollination. When anther is not there, who is not there? Self-pollination not occur, na? but beside out, we covered it. Why we covered it? Ki any unwanted pollen grain come through air, come through an insect, and don't land it on the stigma. And when this, which one? Anther become mature. We collect the pollen grain from here. We collect the pollen grain from here. And after collecting the pollen grain, what we are doing, what we are doing, we are removing which one? 
the bag. We are removing the bag from here. And after removing the bag from here, what we are doing, we are dusting the pollen grain on the stigma. We are taking this pollen grain and dusting on the stigma. And after dusting the pollen grain on the stigma, we further once again cover it with the bag. And this phenomena is called rebagging. Rebagging. And purpose of rebagging is purpose of rebagging is provide unwanted contamination. For prevent unwanted contamination. Contamination. So how Mendel perform hybridization experiment? Did you understand or not? If you not understand, where you not understand, tell me, I will explain. Contamination means unwanted pollen grains once again came. So what Mendel did is in hybridization experiment, he have taken two pea plant, one tall pea plant, another dwarf pea plant. I will explain everyone, uh, everything. Once listen me carefully. So what Mendel did, Mendel have taken a tall plant, he have taken a dwarf plant. Tall plant, suppose that he want to make them male, treat them male. So to whom they have to treat them male, they not disturb the plant. Simply allowing the plant to grow and mature. Clear up to here? Come a step by a step. No disturbance in male plant. To whom they considered male, no disturbance. Simply allowing them to grow. So plant will mature. Now in female plant, so many things he did. In female plant, to whom he considered female, first remove the male sex organ. Now, male sex organ is not there. Pollen grain will not form. Getting the things. And self-pollination will not occur. Otherwise, there is a chance, na, if they not remove the anther, after ripening, anther will rupture and pollen grain landed on the stigma of the same flower. There was a possibility or not. Hurry up, children. Tell me. There was a possibility or not. The anther will open, and after an opening of the anther, what happened? Pollen grain of the same flower landed on the stigma of the same flower. So we want to avoid it. We want to not support it. Otherwise, what happened? Dwarf male cross with dwarf female gamete, na? Dwarf male gamete cross with dwarf female gamete. We want what? Tall male gamete cross with dwarf female gamete. So no self-pollination occur. To avoid self-pollination. Self-pollination means what? Self-pollination means what? Same flower, anther, land on the stigma of the same flower. Got the idea? So to avoid unwanted, to avoid self-pollination, uh, we perform emasculation. Emasculation is what? Removal of anther of the female plant. Purpose to avoid which pollination? Self-pollination. Self-pollination means what? Pollen grain, suppose that. I am just drawing a diagram. You will understand better. Have a look. This is a flower, a stigma. This is a style. This is ovary. This is thalamus. And this is anther. And here anther get ruptured. Pollen grain landed on the stigma. Same stamen on the carpal of the same flower. It is called which pollination? Self-pollination. If we don't want... If we don't want this self-pollination to occur, what we did? We remove the anther. We remove the anther. If this anther will not remain, who will not occur? If this anther will not remain, who will not occur? Self-pollination will not occur. You got the idea? Understand the idea? And a re technical name of removal of anther is called, technical name of removal of anther is called emasculation. So what is the purpose of emasculation? Can I expect every student have understand it? Yes. Yes. I will come on answer. I have put some last 10 minutes for which one? Question answer round, na? So I will answer your questions. Now, we remove the anther. Emasculation done. Now it is a stigma. This stigma is exposed, na? So any, this is a, another plant. From here it may possible, na? Pollen grain came and land here. 
pollen grain may from another flower land on the stigma na pollen grain may land on the stigma na from another flower getting the things tell me a one student is asking sir what is bisexual flower bisexual flower are such flower where both male and female reproductive organ present in same flower if a stamen and carpel present in the same flower it is called bisexual flower you got children you got the idea so i don't want to unwanted pollen grain land here so what we will cover we cover it with the bag now as above the stigma stigma is covered by bag now this pollen grain land here not land here na so what is the purpose of bagging what is the purpose of bagging tell me is there any test on sunday of course tell me hurry up children purpose of bagging prevent unwanted cross pollination bagging purpose once again i am writing i have written earlier bagging purpose to avoid unwanted cross pollination now what i did now these anther become mature of tall plant now we collected the pollen grain after collected the pollen grain i want na male of this male gamete of tall plant cross with female gamete of dwarf plant this is our intention na ki we want to make a cross between you can say in easy language a sperm and egg of two different plant so here we collected the pollen grain here pollen grain from the anther of which plant tall plant and we remove the bag we remove the bag after removal of the bag what we did after removal of the bag what we did we uh, spray the we dusting this pollen grain on the stigma we dust the pollen grain on the stigma now this pollen grain of tall plant is dusted by us by mendel on which one pollen a stigma of the dwarf plant and after that he also did what once again he rebag it why rebag it may be another unwanted pollen grain may also land na may also land na it will land na so to avoid contamination and once again unwanted pollen grain to getting the thing how it is dusting taking in hand and dropping on the stigma taking some pollen grain in hand and going removing this cover and uh, dusting on dusting like this on which one dusting like this on which one a stigma of the dwarf plant you got the idea after that he did rebagging why he did rebagging ki once again if it is open some another plant or some another pea that uh, pollen grain may come na by blowing in the air they came or not is it clear or not clear understanding the idea is it clear so such a way mendel perform which one hybridization experiment so what are the technique of the hybridization experiment na uh, you got the idea understand the idea what are the seven character chosen by mendel you got the idea understand the idea what are the seven character children what are the seven character length of the plant two different form tall and dwarf who is dominant tall is dominant second character position of flower who is dominant axial who is recessive terminal third character shape of pod who is dominant full who is recessive constricted every character two form he have taken flower color violet dominant white recessive two color he have taken seed color yellow dominant green recessive pod color green dominant yellow recessive he have taken seed shape round dominant wrinkled he have taken so these are the seven character and there are two alternative form chosen by mendel in the hybridization experiment and these are the technique used by mendel during hybridization experiment he remove which one getting the things he remove anther first dd emasculation then bagging emasculation to avoid cell pollination bagging to avoid unwanted cross pollination and rebagging further after dusting the uh, uh, required pollen grain getting the things or not rebagging to avoid contaminations
getting the things or not. So these are the techniques used by whom Mendel during his hybridization experiment. I hope you understand it, children. I hope you understand it. Now in this class, what you not understand, you ask question. Now it is your time. Now it is your time. How fertilization occur, I will teach later in next class. What are the cross occur, how three is to one, one is to ratio came, how one is to two is to one ratio came, getting the things or not. Rebagging means once again cover with the bag. Bagging first time. Second time after dusting the pollen grain, once again covering the stigma is called rebagging. Explain emasculation. Emasculation is removal of anther. Emasculation is removal of anther in bird stage from a bisexual plant is called emasculation. Pollen grain is present in anther, na? Sir, tell phenotype and genotype. Physical appearance of a character. Someone is tall, someone is dwarf, someone is black, someone is white. This is phenotype. Their genetic makeup. Ki either capital T, capital T, or capital T, a small t, genotype. What is genome project? Actually, five developed country of the world work on a platform, single platform. It is the biggest project of the biological science. Till now, such much big science project not happen. And that is the name is which project? Human Genome Project, HGP. The purpose of this Human Genome Project, in this project, do you know how many scientists work together? 10,000. 10,000 scientists work together in a single project in world. And it is billions of dollar project. It was not possible for a single country to, ex to bear all the expenditure of the project. So five developed nation of the world pull the money. USA was there, Britain was there, getting the things or not, Japan was there, getting the things or not, right? So these, you will study about later. Let me tell you a brief. So what I'm telling, these are the largest project of the biological science. 10,000 scientists work for 10 years. How many years? 10 years. The targeted 10 years to map the entire genome of the human being. Purpose was what? At which chromosome, which gene was present? What is the function of which gene? If this gene is a particular gene get removed from your chromosome, what problem occur in your body? If a chromosome number increase or decrease, if a chromosome cut, what problem occur in your body? So such kind of a detailed study they did. How many year? 10 year. How many scientists? 10,000 scientists. And in that project, we managed to know our many mites break. We managed to know a smallest chromosome is 21st. Second smallest is 22nd. Earlier, we think what? A smallest is Y. Now, according to after HGP, what is the smallest? 21st. Who is the second smallest? 22nd. Got the idea? Understanding the idea? Is it why did me? Oh, 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 oh. Is tall, is, is it one tall, is tall, one is male, and dwarf is female? It's your choice. I'm, I am telling, if you want to make tall as female, how can you do? Now I'm telling you another condition. This is the tall one. And this is the dwarf one. You want to make whom as a female? Tall as a female. It is quite possible you remove his anther. To whom we want to make female, we remove their anther. And to whom we, because it is bisexual, na? So whose male organ removed is considered as female, whose male organ not removed is called male. So you can make anyone as male, anyone as a female in case of bisexual. You can make anyone male, anyone female in the case of which one? Bisexual. Are you getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? 
only only how very faster it is coming in male if self pollination occur during hybridization what happens sir i will tell in the next class when self pollination not occur in male in bisexual you can say male how can self pollination occur getting the things or not centromere centromere is the most constricted part of the chromosome most constricted part of the chromosome is called centromere where two sister chromatids join together i will teach it later so centromere is the place where two chromatids join together so that part of the chromosome where two chromatids join together is called which one centromere it is the most constricted part of the chromosome primary constriction is another name of centromere primary constriction is the another name of which one centromere okay children sir qr code of course qr code listen see the qr code so next class become very important we will deal the hybridization experiment are chromosome paired yes sir how did mendel say that which is recessive which is dominant next class tomorrow class i will give you the answer of this question very good question my children how mendel told who is dominant who is recessive very good question i will give the explanation chromosome briefly chromosome i not explained eight we will deal about chromosome later you can think like chromosome are thread like colored body i am telling chromosome one line one student asking i am telling one line about chromosome chromosome is what thread like colored body chroma means colored and zoom means body made up of made up of dna and protein dna and protein mainly rna also there in some amount made up of dna and protein mainly and responsible for responsible for transfer of character responsible for transfer of character from parent to progeny is called chromosome you got a brief exposure about chromosome <laughs> what is dna what is rna i will tell later if you have pick up every point it was ribose nucleic acid deoxy ribose nucleic acid these are nucleic acid we will talk about these things later so you got a basic idea about chromosome it is a thread like colored body made up of dna and protein mainly and responsible for transfer of character is called chromosome got the idea qr code so today you got na how a new discovery change the view point earlier karyotyping in decreasing order after human genome project we managed to know 21 is smaller than 22 getting the things okay so qr code you just scan it lecture will come to you you just open your mobile and in mobile i think uh, qr code scanner app is there in my mobile there is no need to but uh, uh, it depend upon mobile i just uh, scan through my camera only but in some mobile only camera uh, not work and uh, it's required to use a Q uh, it is my camera so in my camera as i focus it came hmm? in my it is also not coming today just a minute wait hmm it came 
And if you talk about, in my simply I open the camera, a link came, I click there. If it is not happening, you just you, uh, download the app, QR code scanner, and from QR code scanner, you just scan. You see, it came in my mobile. Entire lecture came in my mobile. Now you are able to see now what I have written on the screen, everything came here. It not required to cut every part, of course. Cutting we did, did for only for male part, anther. If you cut the ovary part, where fertilization occur? So you will got information about your exam, don't worry. Okay, children, bye-bye. See you in tomorrow class. That is a very important class tomorrow. Okay, G, bye. Have a great day to all of you, bye-bye. Good day, good day, good day, bye.